Hi everyone, welcome to Financial Accounting. My name is Professor Anderson and I will be the instructor for your summer online course. This is a fully online class, so there are no specific times that you need to be online. There's a range of times. For example, you have your exams will be open for two days, but there's no specific time that we meet or a specific time you need to be online. If you want to meet and talk about something or go through a problem with me, totally fine. Just email me and we'll set it up. Um, but there's no specific time you have to be there. Okay, so for those of you who may be new to the Broward and Valley system, let me show you how to get into Canvas. Uh, you can go to BrowardandValley.edu. And if you want to, way at the bottom, you can just click on Canvas. Um, you could also go through Lions Den. You can go through any number of ways. I'm just showing you what I think is the one of the easier ways. So you click on Canvas. You will likely have to log into the system. I'm already logged in with your, but you'll have to log in with your G number and so on. All right, so let's get to our class, which I haven't published yet. I haven't made it uh, visible to you guys yet, but here it is. If I, you have emails, they'll show up in here. You'll see a notification that you have an email. Um, you know, any of your classes would show up in the courses if you have more than one. You also have the calendar in here, which is a really useful tool to see what's coming up and what's going to be due. There's a couple of ways you can see what's due in your uh, course, but the calendar is, you know, one of the better features there. Um, I haven't published the class yet, so you may not be able to get in just yet. The class does officially start, I want to say May 17th. I think I'm going to open up a few days before then, so you can poke around. Um, but officially it starts Monday the 17th. Okay, so you have my quick welcome in here. I do want to point out to you that this is a four-credit class. That's a lot of hours during a normal school semester. Never mind, you know, it's, right, it's a lot during 14 weeks, never mind six weeks. So there's quite a bit of work involved, okay? There's going to be a lot of accounting that you're going to be doing during your first six weeks of the summer there. Okay, um, let me look at it in student view. So this way, when you go in, you see it the same way. Um, if I, there we go. Move myself around. Okay, so I'm in student view. You can see all the things that you have upcoming right here. Um, if I have any announcements for you, they'll be in here, right? This is right now just my welcome. Okay, you will have your modules, and modules are pretty much is pretty much the main place you're going to live. You'll have your individual grades in here. Um, there's a couple of neat features about that. So if you want to like do what if scenarios, like what if I got a hundred on this test, what if I got an eighty on this, and so on, you can do that in your grades tab. You can do a lot of what if calculations. Okay, but let me get to modules. So in here. We've got your Getting Started tab and your Introduction. Your Getting Started has all your beginning things like buying your book and, um, you know, the, t the timing for the course and a copy of the syllabus and so on. Uh, the Introduction is the first thing you really have due, and that's your introduction to the class. Let me click on Getting Started, though, here first. So you have your syllabus, as I said. Um, you have an Excel version of the calendar because I prepare an Excel version of the calendar for myself, so I put it in here for you, too. Um, if you'd like to look at it that way. Let's talk about the forms, let's talk about some of the homework questions. Uh, the idea is that you should be discussing the homework, not giving away answers, mind you, but you should be discussing the homework in the forms, and you, you'll see a description of that. Um, you can find my video lectures here in, in my YouTube channel. Again, I'll show you a little bit more about that in a second. Let's talk about buying the book. Uh, buying the book, it's my accounting lab. You're working through Pearson. You will have really two options. You have student access for my accounting lab, eighty four ninety nine. Uh, it doesn't come with a, a hard copy textbook. If you want e-text, it's an additional sixty dollars. It is what it is. I wish it wasn't, but it is what it is. Um, the two of those together is one forty four ninety nine. Now let me put it out there to you. You can buy. I mean, you absolutely need my accounting lab access because that's where you do your homework, you take your tests. That's where um, you just. Well, really, it's two, two things you're doing there, uh, homework and tests, but that's a pretty major component of your grade. Um, so you have that A499 you've got there. We're using the sixth edition of the book, though, which is an older version of the My Accounting, of the uh, Pearson book. I can't think what its actual name is right this second. But anyway, or, um, you know what the actual full name of the book is, but I'll find it in a second. If you were able to buy that for, like, $15, $20 online because it's an older, we're using the sixth edition. Do that and then pay the $84.99 for the access to my accounting lab, right? Save yourself the money. I mean, if you can't do better than 60 bucks, then you may as well just buy it all right through them. Now, let me tell you right now, 
you have free access for beta weeks. There is absolutely no reason that you shouldn't get in there and get online and get yourself set up immediately because you, it's about a week you'll have access. And the way you do that is you click on My Lab and Mastering. You click on this orange button here and it's going to ask you to register. And there is a free trial access period in here. Okay, choose that and then worry about paying for, you know, it, it'll give you a clock. It'll keep saying, you know, you have so many days left. You have so many days. So they won't let you to forget to pay it. But do that immediately. So this way you're just in there online and no issues along those lines. All right, let me go back to my modules again. And that's the way, by the way, I would say to always go do your homework is clicking this button, going to my lab master and clicking on the orange button in the middle, yellow, orange, whatever. The reason I'm saying that is because then it pops up into a new browser window and you can see so much more of the homework problem. Okay. Um, if you click on it any other way, let me go here, it winds up being very small on your screen. So I would always go through my lab and mastering to get into your homework. All right. We can just go back to the getting started, make sure we didn't miss anything. All right. I do buy the book and I tell you about your introduction and the video that I'm making right now, I'm going to put in here. Okay. Modules. Everything is in these modules. They're like folders for you. All right. So introduction is going to be here. And I always give in the top my, I need to do a new introduction for myself, but, um, I always give you, tell you what I want for, from you for these. So I want you to, you know, post your own post and I want you to reply to at least two other posts, how long your post should be and how long your responses should be. And I'm super quantitative. So, and I try to be as objective as possible. So make sure that your responses are the right amount of right length. All right. I mean, hopefully you're not trying, struggling to find 250 words to talk about yourself. Okay. So let's talk about how the chapters are going to look. You'll have, they'll be laid out all exactly the same way. You'll have an intro, right? So I kind of have headings in each area here. You have an intro where I tell you a little bit about the chapter, right? I tell you, welcome to your introductory chapter. I tell you to complete the session. I want you to read the introduction. I want you to read the chapter in your textbook. I want you to watch my videos and take the related quiz. I'll go back to that in a second. And then I want you to do the homework. Oh, well, if there's anything extra, like in this case, I tell you, you know, there's PowerPoint in here. There's the AICPA's thing in here. So review any additional materials, do your homework. And then if you have, well, not if you have, you have to post in the homework discussion form. Okay. So it seems like there's a lot of moving parts, but there's really only four major ones. I mean, I definitely want you to read the book and everything, but your major graded points are going to be your quiz on the chapter, which is a quiz on the lecture the homework, the tests, and the discussion form for th four major graded points. And I'll repeat that momentarily. All right, let's go back to the module. So that was your introduction here. All right. What I have here is I have little like 10 to eight to 10 minute long lectures that I gave you just like this one. And there are material that I prepared and I even give you a little student guide so you can follow along. And I really think it's valuable to do that, to follow along, because writing things down is a way to learn. All right. Um, so if you print this out for yourself, it's a word version. You just can follow along with my lecture and then you have all your lecture notes. Once you have followed along the lectures, and I've got it noted whether or not you've actually viewed them. It's a new thing I'm trying. Um, you can take the quiz. It's a 10 question quiz. It's in here. It's uh, you can take it three times. And I keep the best score. I've got a 15 minute timer on it and it's based on the lecture and they're really easy questions from the lecture. I'm not asking you any massively quantitative questions or anything. I just want to know that you watch them. All right. So you're going to take the quiz, right? And then you can do the homework. And before I said, if you click on your homework through here, it opens in a tiny little window. So I have a link to it here just to make it easier for you, but I don't love that link. I'd prefer, if, I think you would be happier going through my lab and mastering here on the left and clicking that orange button because this one just opens up an itty bitty little window, which may be fine for the beginning chapters. But after that, when the problems get more, you know, more involved and more intense, that's just too, it's too hard to look at on a small screen. All right. And then you have your posting requirements, your chapter one homework discussion questions. So in here, I want you to talk to each other about the homework, the chapter, and so on. And I tell you, very clearly how I grade it. 
I try to be super clear here. All right. I'm pretty lenient in the first chapter or two, but then after that, that's it. Right. I want, I want it done the way I want it done. Okay. Let me go back. All right. Each chapter is literally the same way. Okay. Same thing. An intro, student guide, three lectures in this chapter, quiz, online homework, online discussion questions. Okay. Same thing for chapter three. Surprise, surprise. And, um, I may have some other things too. Like in this case, I have, so the, all of these things, I didn't mention this, all of these things, chapters one, two, and three, um, I've kind of clustered. I get it that it's the summertime and you may have more time some days and less time others. Maybe you're working, maybe you're doing shift work, whatever the case may be. I didn't want to give you like three day, four day deadlines. So what I did was I clustered them, which means you have to plan your time well. That means chapters one, two, and three are actually all due on May 29th. So I give you almost two weeks to do them. Actually, I'll show you in Excel. There we go. I told you I make an Excel version of myself because it's easier. Uh, this is in your getting started tab if you want it for yourself. But the idea is you've got chapters one, two, and three, and they're all due here. So I give you about 12 days to do that. And then, um, you know, chapters four, five, and six are all due, are all open from 530 to 67. Um, they kind of cross over each other because you see that this ends up 529, this ends up 530. So if you got your test done on 530, then you, you pick up the next section. You don't lose any time in here. I kind of have the assignments overlapping. Um, but yeah, I did this because like I said, you know, it's summertime, it's a tight window. So I have them clustered. You do them as quickly as you can. God knows, don't wait until the end. Don't think this is an easy class. Don't think it, the work is lighter because it's summer. It's just as much work in a shorter time frame. So do not wait to the end of those windows to start working on your stuff. Okay. So let me minimize this. The other one. Okay. And your test. Well, so I'll show you the last, the three things I've got open right now. All three of those. Oh, I didn't mean to have chapter four open. I'm not quite done with that one yet. All right. Um, your exam, you'll be taking it in my accounting lab, the same place you're doing your homework. All right. It's going to be multiple choice just because it's too hard for me to do anything otherwise for you guys. Um, so as much as I'm not thrilled at multiple choice, really the CPA exam is multiple choice. So, I mean, there's something to be said for it. You do have to still know your stuff in order to do well on an accounting exam, regardless of whether or not it's multiple choice. All right. And I usually, with each cluster, I have a discussion forum. And this one, it's about accounting careers, which is, you know, lots of interesting accounting careers are out there. All right. So we talked about that in the syllabus tab. It's kind of neat. You've got another copy of the syllabus, which you have one in the getting started tab too. But what this shows you in here is it shows you visually, you know, the due dates. So all of these things, it looks awful. Or I'll do on May 29th because I give you that window to do it. You have your test and your discussion form due here, right? You have four, five, and six due here and so, you know, so on. Um, and it gives you through the whole semester. I have the waiting, the waiting, which you can read about in your syllabus. I have all the waiting, uh, your exams, you've got four of them. They're worth, you know, 50% of your grade, but maybe you're not the best test taker in the world. Well, that's okay in my class because you can still do well because your homework that you can do, you can do your homework in my accounting lab over and over and over again until you get to a hundred. So that's great. Your discussions, that's easy enough. You get the 10% posting in there, your quizzes, Again, you can take those three times to get to a hundred. Okay. So really half of your grade is well within your control and isn't tied to an exam. All right. Let me just open up my lab in mastering. And then I think I will probably let you all go. Cause we're already at 13 minutes it's longer than I wanted to be. No. Oh, I'm in student mode. That's my problem. How do I leave student view? Let's try this differently. I don't know if it's going to just going to give me well, it's going to give me the instructor view, which has more than you have, but you will see your assignments will pop up in here. So right now, chapter one, homework, chapter two, chapter three, the test, it gives you the dates. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Nope. That's not what it looks like. That's my version. Let's see if it looks like this in here. Oh, here. Do homework. Let's try that. Nope. Nothing's coming up for me because technically the course isn't open yet. Okay. Yeah, see, technically the course isn't open yet, so we're just going to close that. But that is where your homework will be done. That is where your test will be done. All right, if you have questions throughout the semester, reach out to me. I'm as tied to my phone as 
everybody else is, right? So I'm pretty responsive. If I can answer something for you from your phone, I will, from my phone, I will. If I can't answer from my phone, then it may take me a little bit longer to get back to you. Um, but I look forward to meeting you all in your introduction and uh, have a great day and see you in a week, a couple of days, less than a week. No, about a week. <laughs> Bye, everyone.